Sauvignon Blanc is one of the main white grape varieties grown in Bordeaux and Loire Valley regions in France. It is grown widely in other countries too, such as New Zealand, which has made a name for itself with this variety in recent decades. The Adelaide Hills, right on my doorstep in South Australia, and Margaret River in Western Australia are notable regions for Sauvignon Blanc in Australia. And Aussies love their Sauvignon Blanc. It's among the top selling white wines here. The popularity of Sauvignon Blanc relates to its varietal characters those luscious tropical and citrus fruit aromas, as well as grassy and herbaceous notes in some styles, along with crisp acidity and freshness. I mentioned about varietal compounds earlier in week four, and here I'd like to explain a bit more about them, in particular my research on varietal thiols, those compounds which contribute grapefruit, passion fruit, guava and box hedge. These volatile molecules are some of the most powerful food odorants known. They are found in minuscule concentrations and are very challenging to analyse, but we think it's important to understand how these aromas form and how they react in wine over time. After all, you can't manage what you can't measure. Varietal thiols are not found in the great berry as such, although there are odourless precursors present. These enjoyable aromas arise during fermentation. So, with some colleagues I've conducted research on the precursors found in the grapes to see what happens to them during winemaking. Over the years, we've synthesised these molecules, figured out how to isolate them from grapes and analyse their concentrations. We've done quite a number of trials too. Much of the work was undertaken with the help of the wine industry and in one lot of experiments we were able to do our research on an industry relevant scale with replicated 2.5 tonne picking bins of Sauvignon Blanc. This showed the effect on thiol precursors of transporting the grape bins to the winery over a long distance. The precursors were found to increase meaning a greater potential to form the lusty aromas we enjoy in a glass of Sauvignon Blanc. Most recently, we have come up with a very sensitive method for measuring varietal thiols in wine. I've mentioned these compounds are found in tiny concentrations, so they aren't easy to study. They are normally measured in the gas phase, using gas chromatography to separate the components in a vaporised mixture so they can be identified and quantified, usually by mass spectrometry. Because of the very low concentrations of varietal thiols in wine, it takes a lot of effort to prepare the samples when using the usual instrumentation, causing the analytical process to be very time consuming. So, rather than prepare the varietal thiols for analysis as a gas, we did something a little tricky and modified the thiols within the wine so they could be analysed as a liquid. This greatly simplified the sample preparation process and then we used high performance liquid chromatography coupled to mass spectrometry to detect and quantify the compounds. What began as an idea and a small grant from the university turned into an excellent method for analysing varietal thiols in wine. We recently published this work in Analytical Chemistry and is one of my best papers so far. I've provided a link to the article if you want to read more about it. 